course, Rhonda Williams from Pale Wave YouTube. How are you? I'm finding you is Penelope. Hi. Hey, hello. Hey, friends. We're recording. Look at your background. Look, I have to get my face. Wait, can you see? Okay. Oh my gosh, your nails. Can I see them? They're phenomenal. <laughs> oh Whoa. my God. Yes. Are they Christmas nails? Yes. Oh, I love them. I'm super jealous. I'm doing my own nail polish, so I'm not going to put it close to the screen. No. Everything's close to it, so we can't get it done, but yours are phenomenal. Your nails are better. At least you don't scratch yourself like me. Or <laughs> it happens. Um, but I wanted to ask both of you, I relate to your character so, so much. Um, and I really wanted to know for you, what similarities do you find that you have with yourself and your character? And Nicola, we can start for, with you. Um, so I think with Penelope, I feel like my first thing is like, oh, there are a lot of differences between us. But then, you know, human beings were not as dissimilar to one another as we probably would like to think. So I think a lot of the stuff that I related to her with were sort of that unrequited love with Colin. Because I think we've probably all experienced that. And if you haven't, I guess you're perfect. But I <laughs> definitely have. And just that sort of lying. And she's very hopeful. And I feel like I am a hopeful person too. But she also does certain things that I would absolutely not do in any circumstance. Let me make that clear. But she's a fascinating character to play. And Claudia? I, I feel like I'm probably, I don't think I'm as brazen as... Uh, anyways, I don't think so. I think I'm probably a bit s softer in spirit than Eloise. Although I, I think where we unite is this like um, real desire to be dry and uh, sort of cynical um, and maybe slightly sarcastic. Like I think we share that. Um, <laughs> and maybe like maybe I, I got a bit of a pinball machine brain as well, I think. Uh, but I let less of it out. I think Eloise is quite external and I'm, I, I go more in, inwards than, than Eloise. <laughs> well, how is it really, your characters are so true to like what I would call modern women mm -hmm. um, from, you know, just like, hey, I just want to, I just want to worry about my career right now. I'm not worried about a man <laughs> and then at the same time, like, but I kind of want someone at the same time. And so I wanted to know how is it being a part of this series that is really, um, revolutionize period dramas, but also to romance to lead with the female gaze. And Claudia, we can start with you. I think, you know, the things that have allowed like me to vote, uh, me to have the freedoms of uh, like my autonomy and my, my body. Um, those of us who have still ha who have that luxury uh, and privilege at the moment, um, it's not really a luxury or a privilege, is it? Those of us who have that freedom at the moment, that came from someone being brilliant and courageous and usually in the face of like mass amounts of resistance um, and obstacles. And so I guess like Eloise and Penelope are sort of like, a, they're like a little glimmer into um, the sort of amazing women of the past. I think Eloise and Penelope are sort of an expression of what's to come in the future. Do you know what I mean? Like, and, yeah. and they're explorative and, and they are looking at the sort of setup that's in front of them and maybe going, well, that's great. That seems to have worked for a long time for a lot of people, but I don't know if it's the, the way and it's the only way to do something like that. I guess they just prove they're the people that have, they've come before us that now I can sit here and I can vote at every election, um, you know, through those sorts of, uh, uh, is the courageous people. So I guess they're just like a little glimmer into that. And Nicola? I think it's amazing. You know, I think there's so many stories in history that haven't been told. I'm familiar with and they're well-worn, but Bridgerton feels like something really fresh and different. Mm -hmm. And I think because you know, the thing that people love about Shandland is that they present very complicated women. And Penelope and Eloise are no exception to that, in that they're not afraid to be unlikable. They're not afraid to sort of, you know, question the status quo and be progressive. And it's just really joyful to play them. But I think, yeah, that's what part of makes, that's what part of, you know, has the, gives the show the feeling of being so fresh and new. Well, Penelope Louise, my favorite pair of the show. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. You're amazing. Oh, you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you. Oh. Sharonda, stay oh, on Zoom. We'll move you. Thank you too.